What is going on, and welcome back to the Director of Football Journeyman with me, Foggy Players on FM21. And this is the screen you've been waiting for for four episodes now, is it? Is it four episodes since I revealed we were leaving? Well, we've joined Angers. We're moving. We're moving to France. We're moving to France. Um, in a move which is sure to spark plenty of heated debate, Foggy Place has left Wigan to join Angers SCO. Questions will be raised as to why Plays made the decision to change jobs, but he will face pressure to bring immediate success to Stad Raymond Coppa, given his former employers and previous standing. So they've paid 85k in compensation to take me out of my contract early. Um, Fabrizio Souza has followed me over. It must have been something in his... Is there something in a coach's contract or... Oh, okay. Um, so we've brought a scout with us. Because that was our scout, wasn't it? Fabrizio Souza, I'm pretty sure he was one of our scouts, has joined us at Angers. And a couple of other guys have left. I'm guessing contracts expiring. But we are now in charge of Angers, who finished 13th last season. When I <clears throat> agreed to take over, I think they were 15th. So they've had a decent end to the season. They knocked out in the quarterfinal at the, of the French Cup. We're uh, looking pretty good. Two players are leaving already, but I knew about that. The uh, Nori, fantastic. Pereira Lege is quite a good player from what I've seen in the squad that I've since I've well did a little bit of research before joining. Uh, they want us to sign players under the age of twenty three for the first team. Uh, don't sign players over the age of 30. Let's hope the director of football can, uh, you know, abide by that. They want us to work within the wage budget, sell players for, or sign players to sell for profit. Maximum one year contract for players over 32, two years for players over 30, three year contract for first team players. They're expecting mid table finish and they want us to work towards a top half finish. So we're just going to do all of that stuff. Angers. Some players are running out of contract as we speak. They only have, what, a month left? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, a month. So we need to go in and get our director of football, who I have agreed to keep on as part of my interview. So why is the assistant manager? Why is the Lille assistant manager? Telling me about this. Okay. Delightful. Uh, player wants a new contract. Again, nothing to do with me, lads. They want us to bring Phil Neville in as a coach. He's caretaker manager at Deportivo La Coruña. He's a model citizen. What? Salares. Let's have a look at the scouting. Are the we're definitely lacking coaches. We have head of youth development. There's me. Do we not have an assistant manager? Do we? Is there no assistant manager? Uh, we do have a director of football who is Willie's Loval Landre, who looks. Decent, if unspectacular. We're short a little bit on the recruit or yeah, the recruitment side, medical side. We're not lacking too much, but we're pretty, pretty shocking though. To be fair, <clears throat> uh, finances. Let's have a look and see how one point six million in the bank. I've left a team with more money in the bank, but we have huge amount of wage budget spare, quite a decent amount of transfer budget available, and as I said, finished thirteenth last season. Comfortably away from the relegation zone, I guess. Ten points. Um, 
and then just shy of 20 points short of Europe. So that's fine. It's acceptable. I am not too fussed about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and <clears throat> set the director of football. I'm going to just basically do all my setting up for the director of football series. For the whole idea of the save director of football doing all the signings. Technical director. Do we have a technical director? We do. Are you any good at being a technical director? <laughs> Not really. <clears throat> Nine and tens. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, Transports. Did we do any... Send a left back. Kind of unnecessarily, but alright. So we spent a little bit of money in the transfer window. With a part exchange. Oh, excuse me. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Um, And we made... 50% profit on our sales. That's not that bad, to be fair. So, yeah, I'll be back in just a second with anything else that happens, really, I suppose. We just... Season's finished. Should be finished. Yeah, everyone's away on holidays. So that's grand. We'll have a look and see what the director of football is going to do. I'm going to throw a couple of people on the transfer list that I don't want hanging around. Fairly small squad. Actually, how do... the band Oh, they don't like me. They okay. Every team leader, highly influential player, and influential player opposes me. Mm. This might be a little, a little bit, just a little, a little bit difficult. Forty-five percent. We're moving up there. We're moving up there. We're, we're it's gonna be difficult. So yeah, back in a second <clears throat> when I have everything set up, we will go through all that, uh, all that good stuff. So don't go anywhere. Stay right where you are. Right, fellas. So. We've gone through the majority of the transfer window. We have two and a two and a half weeks left, but we are at the start of the season. We're going to be taking on Dijon in the first game. Uh, we're not going to play it today. We're going to be playing Dijon and Brest. So it should be two interesting games to start with, home and away. <clears throat> uh, we don't play PSG for a, until November, so it's going to make our lives ever so slightly easier as you can see by our friendlies they didn't go according to plan um we did play a lot of big teams though um leeds southampton feyenoord leipzig rapid vien uh, adward and hag taking on gray hair gaming uh brussia dortmund and ghent so we had quite a substantial uh, amount of, of, of ma matches that we played against big teams Hasn't helped the whole dynamics. Man, the players still really don't like me. Um, <clears throat> these three came to me and said they wanted to leave. So I said fine. They got offered out. And then they came to me and they're like, what are you doing offering us out? Uh, Bobichin almost left. But the, I think it was Reem offered to buy him. They went into a transfer embargo. So he won't be leaving. CSK Moscow came in for Pierre Lege. Or Pierre uh, Pereira Lege. He rejected it and Faresi had an offer from someone and he rejected that. So we'll see what's going on. Um, support and not support. Oh, we've, not everyone hates us. That's the main thing. Just, you know, nine of the most important players don't like us, which is just ideal. It's not my fault that <clears throat> I'm, uh, what, 50%? Yeah. But we're studying for a Continental A license. So, should be fine. Our level of discipline is up to 16. Man management is up to 11. Adaptability, 2. Get in. Um, but what you're here for is the transfers. So, we currently have an offer in for Nef Agurd from Lorient, who is a centre back. He's not signed. What the hell is going on with his polygon? He. <laughs> We're not sure if he can see yet or how if he's speed or attacking just ignore it uh he's a lorion defender who actually played pretty much every game last season relatively well um but other than that we don't have any active transfers going on right now but we have been busy in the transfer window there's one name in the outs that you'll see and you'll be like oh that's not ideal so we signed sedu and die as goalkeeper it's like third choice goalkeeper now I'm not expecting him to play an awful lot Frederick Ursnes 
is a Norwegian box to box midfielder. He's not terrible. He's three and a half star, so he's going to be one of our main central midfielders, I guess, this year. El Bilal Toure is a 21 year old Malian striker who played for Reem last season or the last couple of seasons, and he's decent, but I think we've gotten quite a, a good player here. Let's see how he gets on. He's not done great in the friendlies. Uh, then we also signed Dinod Quila. Yeah, he's the trash left back that I have no interest in playing. Lucas Acosta is a goalkeeper who isn't. He's he's the best current ability, but he's not much better than any of the other goalkeepers we have. So kind of unfortunate that he's been given first choice goalkeeper. Um, seeing as how he couldn't get a game for Linus prop or any major games ready for Linus for the last couple of years. Quintin Alado Bex is a Belgian slash Dutch not just Belgian. Um defensive midfielder slash centre back who's not great. So he's sitting in the under twenty or the, the B team, the second team, Anger two. Uh Ron Shatlenberg who, when he origin when he came in originally, I was like, "Well, this is the DM we needed, so that's fantastic." He came from Southampton, paid two and a half million for him, but as you can see, his value is already five point seven five million. He used to play for Paderborn, um, Verl, Southampton, went on loan to Houston randomly, um, and now he's joined us. So we'll see how he gets on. He is currently injured, so he won't be playing the first game of the season. Alexis Mendez is another centre back who's just, eh, for some reason, can play right midfield as well. Heading, marking, tackling. They're like his jumping reach is quite good as well. He is six foot two. The important things he's good at. Bear his strength. The strength's not great, but mentally he's just not great. So he is in a bind. He'll get a game. Uh, we also then went and signed Christian Yak Yakic Yakic, who is a another DM, which. Fantastic, we had none and I wanted to play with a DM. So, threw a DM in. The director of football finally went and threw in. Need to actually sign a few of them. Across the board, he's a pretty decent DM. Quite brave. I like his stamina. He's a ball win midfielder. We're going to probably play a halfback and just kind of see how that goes. Be interesting to see how he gets on. Then Matt Weber. Just... Popped out of nowhere. No idea who this guy was. Um, it said that the word was out that we were trying to sign him. And uh, then he, pretty much that day, like two hours later, he joined. Never played a competitive game in his life. Uh, we have a foreign rule in, this, in France. So we can't actually register him without removing some of our more important players. Um, so that's unfortunate for him. Everything. Everton, Urton, I'm going to call him Everton, uh, four star right back, we had no right backs, so this was definitely something we, a, a position we really, really need, because I was looking at the under 18s, or the under 19s, and the B team to see if there was a right back who could actually play right back, not really, so if he, if this guy picks up an injury, we're, we're down to using a centre back who can play as right back but this guy's come in hopefully he'll stay fit uh came in from sao paulo 1.4 million is now valued at four which is fantastic and then we just signed this guy kwaku oduhuro i don't think he's ever going to get a game for us um x man city i've seen so many man city youngsters being sold this year like going around europe being just like, oh, I was a couple going to like smaller English clubs or like lower English Premier League teams and oh, a couple off to like Scotland and a few went to Germany. And then we get this one. This is the one we get. Like, it's not fair. Um, We did do a lot of business in the outs though. Um, Elisa, Elisha Owasu. Was a player I really did not want to leave the club, but they offered three point nine million, and it was accepted. So that was our only DM gone. 
not long after I arrived. Uh, I think we arrived on the 27th of May, no, 29th of May, and then he left on the 23rd of June. So that was not ideal. A bunch of these players had already agreed to leave. Lincoln was a winger who I wouldn't have actually minded having at the team, but he went for 1.5 million, basically nothing, potentially 1.9. Uh, I at Nori, this was really really disappointing. I protested this one because the board accepted twenty six and a half million, potentially up to thirty three and a half. We could have easily gotten like forty or fifty million from, him, but not. He's gone. Um, to be fair, he did give us plenty of money. We haven't really spent much of it. To be fair, yeah, not spent a huge amount of money since that transfer though uh, a couple of players went out on loan alexandru P uh, pound pound was one of our central midfield options got sold to spartak moscow for made a profit on him to be fair uh potentially up to three and a half million could have really done with him in the team though then just a bunch of under 19s and second team players that i really had no interest in playing so they're that's what's happened thus far. Um, and as you can see, we have one more transfer potentially going up. But he's a loan from central midfielder who's probably not going to get much first team football. Anyway, so this is the lineup at the moment. So this is what we're going to be doing currently. So Acosta is going to start as the goalkeeper because that's what his minutes have been given as. I'm looking more so at um, Enzo Lefel, 19 year old. Goalkeeper can he's got potential. He's played fifteen games. I think was it last season. Yeah, played fifteen games last season after the Angers, the ex Angers manager, I suppose, sold their main goal. Uh, the the main goalkeeper. He played the end of the season. To be fair, when I got here, huh, form was falling off a, a cliff. It was terrible when I got. Oh, it was just. The, the guy who was in charge when I agreed to take over and he just hung on. Oh, we all, oh, it form was shocking. We're just lucky that teams around us were worse. Um, Everton and Northington Davies, who is an English, Welsh, 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 left back. Um, Previously of Swansea, Sheffield United, Barrow, played a couple of games for Rochdale, Luton, went to Monaco. Actually got some game time. Uh, we signed him. And now he is first choice left back. Because Aitnori is gone. Uh, Faresi and Sagnan are going to start as our centre backs. They're just like Faresi is a Venezuelan who just, he's probably our best centre back. Sagnan is a, a Malian centre back who's just come back from an international tournament. Um, you've already looked at those two. Yakic you've looked at. Pre uh, Prera Laj. Laj. I think he's our most important player. He's like the the guy who can kind of do everything and anything. He's going to be the main playmaker. We're going to have him as an advanced playmaker on attack. Um, Ornst Sness, you've already looked at. Cho, who has interest from Ghent and Leipzig. So I'm not sure we're going to be able to keep him for very long. He's uh, an inverted winger who can also do inside forward. So we're going to ask him to do the inside forward part. He's... Been in the first team for the last couple of seasons. It's not been amazing. Uh, then we have ex Southampton inside forward on the left, Bufal, who I'm hoping can lead the line. He wants to be a winger as well. I'm going to ask him to do the inside forward as well because I think he's good enough. He's five foot seven, so he's quite short. And then Toure, who I have hopes will be leading the line. Um, the potential backup right back, if need be, is Majstrovovic. Maj uh, he is more so a centre back, but could play it right back in a bind. Don't really want him to have to do that, but we'll see what happens in time. Uh, Kevin Boma is a centre back that I'm going to be using just as my backup, to be fair. He's not an amazing player. The rest of the players then just. Um, in the under 19s we do have a couple of high potential players like Ludwig or Ravenne 
who is a winger, five star potential, potentially, looks promising, as the media would say. He has physicals are quite good. Mentally, he's not the worst. Technically, he just needs to spend a bit of time, you know, playing football. So we've Christ Yulu, who just has the greatest name of all time, promising striker. I think he's going to be something special as well. He might the two of those, those two might get game time this year. Um, Oliver Gale, again another striker. Physically, pretty good. Could do with acceleration and pace added into his game, but mentally not the worst. Uh, technically, again not the worst. So Oliver Gale potential. Um, and then there is. If you've anybody who's watched my direct or my uh, hair to hero series will know Valim Harbari Harbi is a player I, I signed in Hair to Hero, kept him around for we were there for eleven years, I think we kept him there for nine seasons, barely played, but he looks he looks quite good. So we're gonna give him an opportunity. He is a regular for our second team. If needs be, he can always jump into the first team and we see how he gets on. He is 20 years old, so he's not going to get that much better. My, um, is it the assistant? Reckons that some of these, um, like, there's a 24-year-old somewhere who has, like, one and a half star current ability, but five star potential. And it's like, no, no. No, he does not. Obviously, he doesn't. So that is where we're going to leave this episode if you have enjoyed please make sure to leave a like comment subscribe we are going to be back tomorrow for dijon and breast games so make sure to stop on by again and uh, we'll see how we get on in the first games as Angers manager thank you very much Richard Phillips. i'll see you in the next one bye